family. Hey, today is the 5th of July 2017 and it is 8.30 in the a.m. Did it, why I say the a.m.? <laughs> in the p.m. You can tell that it's half dark. It's, it's like dust dark right now. So actually it's 8.30 in the p.m. And I have come on to do a video uh, for my girl Black China again. Now, I did a video for you last time, putting you up on game, you know, on what you needed to do. And so now that this whole social media fiasco has taken place today, here in California, family, it has been on all day on this, okay? And uh, I had to come on and, and say something um, to just point you in the right direction on your path so you can get past this. Because with all this news media about it and everybody's talking about it or whatever, um, the next steps is probably going to be CPS jumping into your business. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you as a big sister, um, auntie, whatever you want to call me. I'm just getting ready to put you up on some cold-blooded ass game. So then therefore... You can kind of cover yourself because it's getting ready to go all the way down in a few, okay? First of all, you're dealing with a family of power. Regardless to what people might want to say about the Kardashian family, but they are a family of law, okay? They know the law, okay? And then on top of that, they have means. Means that will surpass your means. So, it is probably best that you, at this point in time, sit that ass down and figure out a master plan. So then, therefore, when all this bullshit start coming your way, you could be able to, to you know, deflect it and, 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 you know, dip and move. Okay. The first thing I'm going to need you to do, though, is begin to tune into yourself. Uh, 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 my, my mind just went blank. I, I wanted, you know, damn. My mind just went blank all of a sudden. Because I don't want to call you Black China. I want to call you Angela. So I was getting, that's where my mind was at. I was like, okay, do I call you Angela or do I call you Black China? Okay, Angela. I believe your name is Angela. But everybody calls you China, so a lot of people don't go by Angela. But um, I, you know, calling you by your name. And I believe that he is Angela, but everybody just calls you China. So um, at any rate, you need to start tuning into yourself, okay? Now, if you need to seek uh, some counsel, I'm going to suggest you do that. If you need to sit down with your financial advisor, I'm going to need you to do that. Um, well, you are going to need to do that, okay? Please, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what's up right now. Yes, you are going to need that for damn sure uh, is to get you a financial advisor to, you know, to talk you through these financial steps that you're going to need because the state of California laws are a little bit different from other parts of, of this world, okay? So we kind of get down a little bit different. Every state have their own um, code of ethics, if you will, that, you know, must be followed and so on and so forth on how these motherfuckers will get you. But... More than likely, the way they're putting all this spin on it on the news, because even right now on KCAL News Channel 9, they're talking about this shit, you know, in the midst of the other shit that's been going on, they talking about you, okay? So, I'm going to tell you this right here, mama. You might want to get into rehab real quick, okay? Because this family can come in and destroy you, okay? Okay? Um, because at this point in time, it's all over the place, everybody knows it, and he has the baby. He has dream with him. Now, the, the different things on the surface, I'm a little glistening right now, because I just got out of the shower, so, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, in case you're like, damn, she's shiny, well, I just got out of the shower. And so, you know, and I steam, so your body kind of comes down after all that. But at any rate. He has your daughter right now, okay? And all these revelations on however way it showed up, shown up with him that you've been fucking around on this with him on this with this other guy or whatever the case. 
first of all, before we talk about that, let's talk about your children, okay? Because the chief situation right now is CPS, them coming in, fucking with your household, coming in, he trying to get full custody of your daughter. Okay, now to my understanding, as they've been showing it here on the news, that Tiger also has your son right now. So you just out doing your thing, which they've been showing all on the news and all over everywhere that, you know, you was doing some kind of twerk and get down or watching some twerk and shit. And you posted it on your social media and all that. I'm going to need you to stop posting at this point in time, please. Don't post nothing else because at this point in time, it's going to begin to fuck with your credibility. Fuck with your credibility as a mother. There's already enough shit out there as it is. We don't need to compile more shit on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point in time, it's going to mess it up for you. To whereas when you go through this custody battle, it'll give you something to stand on. Now, he's made all these allegations about drug abuse... Um, alcoholism and all these types of things. So getting into rehab right now is an order. All your friends, if they're truly your friends, they're going to help you excel to the next level. Okay? They're going to push you for greatness. If your crew and your squad that you're rolling with is all on some girl fuck him and girl this and girl... No, that's not what you need right now. You need somebody such as myself that's going to say, look, check this out. Sit down. You need to listen. Because at this point in time, the shit is about to get stanked in the motherfucker. Okay? So, get the rehab going. Okay? Now, he's already done put out your pictures of your little snatch, your body, and all this, your surgical work, and all this kind of stuff. We don't know what uh, the tea company about to do at this point in time. Because basically, he blew the whistle on your, on your you know, side hustle. Okay? So, then, therefore, they might drop you... As, you know, sponsorship and as far as, you know, paying you to promote their product. Because now he's pretty much showing that, you know, okay, well, she was getting, you know, lipo and, and so on and so forth. And she really didn't do all this working out that she said she was doing. Which I understand, okay. Here in California, that's just how we roll, okay. And when you have a disposable income, what are you supposed to look like? And whatever shortcomings you have, you cover it up or you fix it. It's just that simple. So there's no, um, no, uh, I have nothing to say about that in one way or another. Okay? Whatever you did. So what? You had it to do. He provide. he didn't already put it out there. He provided you $100,000 to get some lipo and whatever after you had your daughter. Well, A. If you told him it was a hundred thousand, and you and I both know that it don't cost that, but he ran you a hundred anyway, Mama, there's no reason why you should not have bought you a home. I said this on the last video that I did, okay? When he went down there, picked you up from Houston, and all that other kind of stuff, okay? So I've been saying this, okay? But you need to be buying you a home. Okay, he didn't put it out there on all the social media that he just paid your rent the other day, and that was sixteen thousand dollars a month. So he's paying your rent. You put the fuck boy. Um, I don't know how he got that picture. I don't know if you know, cause these niggas here nowadays they do track your phone and track all your texts and all that kind of stuff. I didn't had it done, so I'm already knowing. So then, therefore, I don't know how he got the information about you with the fuck boy. Okay, I don't know his name. I think they call him Maserati or Fiari or some 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 shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck his name is. But regardless to the fact you don't never fuck down, you fuck up. Okay? So that was a mistake already. So that was an error in judgment. If you got this one over here that loves you so much, willing to give you hundreds and thousands of dollars and over $200,000 worth of jewelry and a fleet of vehicles all over a hundred thousand dollars. Why in the hell would you fuck that up for this nigga right here that's sleeping in the bed that this man bought you? Why was that so sloppy? Okay. Now I understand you're saying, well, you know, he abused me and this and this and that. You know what? I saw the video. They got that shit running on the TV too on how he put hands on Adrian. During the course of the beginning episodes of 
uh, what uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. So he done already implemented his ass. He's all he already showed uh, that he can be somewhat abusive. So that's already out there. Okay. So I understand you getting you a little side piece or whatever the case for the simple fact that the one I'm with is tripping. Okay. But when you have that type of sponsorship going, and he's giving you that much. Then therefore, this right here was never supposed to come out of the box. And then on top of that, fuckboy is running his fucking mouth. And trying to get you in a twist, telling now, your, your main squeeze, oh, well, I'm, we can make some money together. What's happening? Get at me. So then therefore, this is a nothing ass nigga right here. You're supposed to cut this motherfucker right here all the way off. Okay? Now, not only did, was he in the bed that... Rob bought. He also in this nigga's robe. China. Angela. What are you doing, mama? What What was that? What was that? That's not grown woman's game. Okay? That's not grown woman's game, mama. You playing childish games right now. And it's about to fuck you up in a major way. Okay, it's it's about to it's about to fuck you up in a real major way, cause these white folks ain't about to let you run with that. Now here, Kim and her sisters, they've been you know what I'm saying with these athletes and all that shit, and I love them. Okay, I I don't I don't really know them like that, but I respect what they're doing. And so what? The women are pretty. Their mama's a businesswoman. Hey, they just you know what I'm saying. They just turned their money into an empire. What can I say? It's it's not for me to hate on it. It was presented to them to make some money off of it. Check this out. Look, hey, what what was they supposed to do? I mean, hell, everybody flipping money nowadays. Most, most people that got some type of hustle going, they flipping it. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't be really mad at them. But now, you know, a lot of women, a lot of sisters is like, well, hell, you know, his sister's been getting our our brothers for all this money all this length of time. The sister didn't do nothing but go in and get her portion. Okay, some can go with that. But at this point in time, you have a baby involved, and he has your daughter with him now. So, then therefore, that's putting you in a compromised situation. Because not only did you like the pictures that he posted, which was an error. Because here in the state of California, we have what is called, uh, what is it, uh, porno law? Wait a minute, what is it called? Revenge porn, revenge porn, revenge porn law, okay? So, which you could have sued his ass, but once, once you like the pictures, you can't come in and, and get to talking about it puts you in a different headspace. Even if you come back and say... Well, you know what? I just like the pictures because I was just confirming, okay, whatever, what you're trying to say. Okay, yeah, that's me. That's my shit. Whatever. But you never should have done that. So the ladies that are watching this right now, okay, anytime you break up with somebody, especially here in the state of California, you have to send them a text, send them an email or whatever, letting them know, check this out, any images, whether I'm dressed or or undressed and and they are posted in reference to me i'm going to sue your motherfucking ass because you have no authorization to use my image on nothing okay so let's make this a service a public service announcement one more again for any of my exes whatever photos you got of my ass if you post any motherfucking thing on social media i'm hanging your ass out to dry understand that okay because you fucking with the wrong one with that one Okay, now this didn't do nothing but give everybody a learning lesson that you don't like the photos when they post videos of you guys in compromised situations. If they post vid uh, pictures of your body or whatever in any type of compromised position, you do not respond. Don't respond, okay, because then therefore you can come back. And then you can say, well, you know what? This caused me mental anguish. This flipped me out. You know, I couldn't sleep. It fucked up my relationship status. All this kind of stuff. It fucked with my job. All kinds of stuff you can come back and say at that point in time. But you don't confirm it with a like, a comment, or anything. So, ladies, please do not respond. Because you're fucking up 
your weight on getting that ass. Okay? After the dust all settled, then therefore you're like, you know what, take this out. No, I'm about to get this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because the coldest thing you can ever do to a man. You can't fuck him up by withholding pussy. You cannot fuck him up by quit talking to him. You can't fuck him up by ignoring him. The main thing you do for a man is you got to hit his ass in the pockets. And right about now, China, you done kind of fucked up your chances on much of anything else at this point in time. Because your credibility is not looking too good in the eyes of the people, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so you got twerking videos going on for the 4th of July and all this, but you got Tiger with your son getting off private jets. They done posted all those pictures. Then you got Rob with Dream, and they're on floats and having pool parties at Chloe's house, but then there was no you. And then you post... On your Snapchat, Instagram, wherever you posted it at, but it's all over everything, that you watching this, a twerking convention. You watching somebody shaking their ass. You know what I'm saying? So, that's not looking good right now. And especially when you have to go before a court battle pertaining to custody of your children. It's not going to look bad. So, at this point in time, you need to sit that ass down. He didn't already put it out there about ecstasy pills and you got you had 12 bottles of such and such came to the house. He didn't pay for all that shit. Plus uh whatever else he said you was getting down with. You know what I'm saying? So it's not looking good, mama. So what I'm gonna need you to do, this is what we're gonna do. Okay? I made some notes here because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss nothing. Okay, now, what you want to do is you want to take, keep two of the vehicles, if you need two of them, keep two of those vehicles. That Maserati and all that other bullshit that he bought you, sell that shit and go buy your ass a house, please. Now, there's beautiful places that you can stay. You can stay in the valley, okay, get you a badass home in Woodland Hills. Get you a badass house in Chino Hills. Go up here by Lakeview Terrace and all that. Get you something nice. That you can afford. Preferably without any homeowners association. Okay. Or any type of gated community type of mellow rules. Or you know type of taxes that you have to pay. Because with those types of things you have to have a strong residual income. You know what I'm saying. To keep up with it. Or you can lose your home. That's one thing about uh, homeowners associations and things of that nature. They can put a lien against your property. They can take your home from you. So, you don't want to buy you a home in a homeowners association because that's going to lock you in on paying for their pool and all that other shit, even if you got a pool in your backyard. You know what I'm saying? They got laws on how you can barbecue and what kind of blinds you can have out to the street and what kind of gate you can have in the back and all kinds of shit. So, you don't want to get you a home with an old homeowners association. Okay, you don't want to get stuck with those fees, but you do want to ensure that you have a home for you and your children. When all the dust settle, you have somewhere to go because right now at this point in time, they thinking of a master plan to fuck you up royally. Okay, and what do you have to stand on at this point in time? Okay, you already got pictures out that, you know what I'm saying, you are, and whether or not you got pictures of, those pictures were just for him, of you showing pussy and all that, or, but you also got a picture of a man in his, in Rob's bed, mama that don't look right. I know what you're saying though, auntie, but I'm single, I'm single teen, I'm single uh, teen, I can do what the fuck I want to do, I understand all that, but... You also going through, getting ready to go through this custody, custody battle with a family of power. Okay? And their money can outrun your money by simply just putting stays and stays and pushing the court proceedings back and back and back and back and back. And, back. and that shit is just tacking on money. Your legal fees are just going to rise up. It's best to settle with these motherfuckers. Get something in writing. Okay, I fucked up, he fucked up. He put his hands on me, he did this, this, this. That's why I did that. Come up with some form of agreement. 
between Rob and yourself. This ain't got nothing to do with his family, his sisters, and all that other shit, okay? It wasn't cool what he done. A lot of people was looking at what he done as, you know, that was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because you put her out there. But the man shown that he was hurting, that he was in his feelings. Okay, now you guys have been off and on, off and on, off and on throughout the course of this thing, which shows that you guys have had some instability in your relationship and there has been, you know, factors going on. It's showing that. But at this point in time, though, now you're going to have a problem with custody of your children. Turn all this bullshit off for right now. You need to go head on down there. Um, they got one in Malibu. I can't think of the name of, what is it called? There's a rehab in Malibu. I can't think of the name of it at this point in time. It just went away. Look, it's on the TV right now. God damn it, they showing it. Check this shit out. Well, I don't want to fuck up the, the thing. But they showing it on the goddamn TV right now on KCAL News. Okay? They got y'all shit all everywhere, mama. You know what I'm saying? And right about now, you are the one that's going to lose. Okay, because they got memes out, you know, epic fail, Rob trying to turn the hole into a housewife. I mean, they just fucking your whole name and everything. They trying to do you such a do all over the place right now, baby. They are really fucking you up in a bad way. They putting your name out in a bad way. You need your mama. You need your auntie and them. You need some women around you that you can truly trust so you can get this cry out so we can handle our motherfucking business. Okay, all these other motherfuckers that ain't that, that that's just just trying to get on and trying to ride and you know these 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 chicks want they shit done too. You getting your breasts done, they getting they shit done too. Low key, you go get Botox, they getting Botox too, or whatever your get down is. Leave these leeches alone, cause these motherfuckers at this point in time can't help you none. Cause in the video they showing them motherfuckers, they showing you in the car with these motherfuckers, everybody cackling and grinning and all this shit, and shit that robbed and paid for. But, to your defense, guess what? All that shit is yours now, mama. He didn't already put it out there that it was gifts. Oh, I bought you this, I bought you that, I bought you this. So, at this point in time, guess what? All that shit is your shit, mama. That shit is your shit. Do you understand me? But you need to flip this shit on some concrete shit for you and your children. Okay? I'm going to also need you to get a revocable trust. You don't have a husband, but you have two children. In the state of California, if you have assets over $50,000, in the event that you die, then therefore, guess what? Yes, the things go to your children, but you also need somebody, appoint somebody to come in and to take care of your children as if you were still here. Whoever that is that you can trust. Because yes, they, they will go to their fathers and all that kind of stuff. But what happens to your things? Oh, it goes to the kids. Yes. But to cut down all the bullshit and to cut down on all going to court and all that bullshit, it's called a revocable trust. I'm going to ask that you look it up. Let me spell it for you in case you don't know what I'm talking about. It's R-E-V-O-C-A-B-L-E. -E. Okay? Look it up. Revocable trust. A will is only good for little pussy ass shit. Little mediocre shit. But when you have a home, assets, vehicles over a certain amount of money, no, you need a revocable trust. Okay? Because at the end of the day, somebody can say, well, these kids can't, um, these kids can't drive these cars. These kids can't do nothing with this. Now your shit is just in all in disarray. But if you put all this shit in a revocable trust, get it notarized or get two signatures from somebody else other than you over 18 years old, okay? Your signature and them same motherfuckers that be kicking it with you, they can't be family members, two other people needs to sign this. Because this right here, when you, this piece of paper right here, when you dead and gone, that's word is bond on what your wishes are and what you want to, want to happen. I'm not wishing upon death because, no, I'm not God. I can't take you from here. But that's just called taking care of business. You understand what I'm saying? You got all this jewelry, all this stuff that this man done paid for you. You still have babies that can't do nothing with that shit, okay? But you need to know where you want your shit to go just because. That's just business. That's just handling business, okay? So, mama, 
I really wish you well. I do. Don't say nothing else. Don't respond. Don't respond to what he's saying. Don't respond to what he's doing. Because you done already fucked off that coin. Already. Because you could have told his ass. For a couple of meal tickets. Over all these goddamn pictures and shit that he done posted about you. Girl. But once you like the photos. Now you can't come back and say. Mental stress. Anguish. This and this and this. Because you liked them. That's the way the law goes. It's a wrap on that mama. So, on that note, girl, I wish you nothing but the best. And surround yourself around some people that can truly help you. And not further put you down. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be lifted up at this point in time. And all of this bagging and motherfuckers who ride and everybody kicking. Hell, I even posted some shit. It took me out of myself. Because the shit was going on so much today. It was like, oh my God. Then they shut down his Twitter. TMZ came on, they damn near did half the show about this shit. And oh my God, when Wendy get a hold of this shit tomorrow, you already know it's going to be a wrap. Because she can't stand none of them motherfuckers over there. And just to be able to come in and laugh about it, oh my God, you got some motherfuckers getting ready to come in and make some laughs and some jokes and all that. But at this point in time, yeah, I said some shit and I'm going to be the first one that said it. You know what I'm saying? I laughed. I laughed at some of the memes. I laughed at... You know, some of the jokes and things like that. Snoop had some funny ass shit to say. Then when they threw T.I. ass up in there and then he tried to come in and come. He should have never said nothing. Because then Rob turned around and said, well, how in the fuck you going to get my daughter out your mouth when you paid uh, China to sleep with you and Tiny? All kind of shit is coming out. Don't say nothing, mama. Don't respond. You hear me? Do not respond. Now, on that little bit right there, you might can get that ass on, wait a minute, this some slander right here. Now you're calling me a hoe. Now you're saying that I'm out here sleeping with motherfuckers and having threesomes with married couples. Don't like that comment. Well, that shit is shut down anyway, but I hope you didn't like that comment when he said that. Because anytime you like the shit, that automatically cuts it out of you coming back with any type of repercussions on his ass. So do not respond. No more. To nothing that he's talking about. Allow him to vent. The man is hurting and he's in his feelings. And rightfully so. When you have spent damn near a million dollars on your motherfucking ass. And then some. At least. I mean he's coming in talking about I done bought her this. I done bought her this. I done bought her this. I done done this. These gifts that. Gifts this. Now baby you got all these gifts and prizes. That he done pretty much said that they was gifts to you. So check this out. <laughs> Don't keep that shit because the insurance is high as a motherfucker anyway. Keep the Range Rover and one of them nice ass vehicles. Get rid of the rest of that bullshit and buy you a house outright so you don't have no payment whatsoever. You have property taxes twice a year, okay? Which is going to be April and which is going to be in December. You know what I'm saying? December is the deadline because I actually, I actually believe that it's November the 7th because it's every six months. But then you have a 30 day after that. The eighth of you see I know okay because with my mama home my mama's home was was already paid and so then therefore she had property taxes and with the property taxes I believe I know that every six months so it's April then May June July August September October so then it's due again in November and so it's November and April of every year okay that you have and then. In that November one, they will give you a grace period until December the 8th. So it's due November 7th, but you have a grace until December 8th. I don't own my home. I still own the mortgage. But holla at my shit ain't but $500 a month. Okay? Now that's motherfucking living. Okay? When you done took the bullshit from your exes, from your, well, you know, from my ex-husband and all that old type of shit. And guess what? <laughs> then therefore, it's called being smart about yours. Okay? So then therefore, you be able to live comfortably. The rest of your life. Now it's time to start putting your grown woman on. You done, This man done got your body tight. So now you're real marketable. You can bounce back from this. Turn into your business. Turn into some investments. You know what I'm saying? Take all that money and all that bullshit that he done sponsored you with. Flip that shit on some, on some, on some real shit. That's going to allow you to sustain a nice lifestyle the rest of your life. Okay, and then after that, then start on whatever else you're going to do. But trust and believe, mama, the way these folks got this shit all over everything is going to be stanking and a motherfucker.
for your ass. Okay, and with these drug allegations and all that kind of stuff, it's going to make it real difficult. You know what I'm saying? When it's time to go before the man about this custody battle with your children. Okay, so if you need me, though, holla. You know what I'm saying? I live in a motherfucking IE. Okay, holla at your motherfucking partner. I don't know, I've already been through the process. You understand me? So holla at your motherfucking partner. Because right now you need somebody on some real shit. I'm your girl and I'm here for you. Deuces, girl. You have a good one. You take care of your business now. I'm out. Gone.